later this year when iOS 10 launches, you'll finally be able to delete some of those pesky default apps from your iPhone or iPad. We're talking about the apps that are automatically installed, like Compass or Apple's stock app. You know, apps you may not actually be using. Soon, they can be deleted, which means more room for pictures, videos, and apps you want to use. Apple has long been criticized for crowding people's iOS devices with apps they don't necessarily want. While the change in software likely comes as a breath of fresh air for Apple users, Forbes pointed out in its review of the iOS 10 developers preview that it kind of seems like Apple's just playing catch up with Android. Right now, it looks like users won't be able to delete every pre-installed app. Messages and camera, for example, have to stay on the devices, but tweaks to the software could still happen up until its official release this fall. The new operating system won't be compatible with older iPhones or older iPads. For Newsy, I'm Samantha Crook. Thank you.